guys, it's Adrienne with Dessert Devotion. Well, as you've probably noticed for the past several months, I have not been making dessert devotions. And um, well, the reason is grief. Um, if you guys follow my Dessert Devotion Facebook, uh, you know that uh, suddenly and tragically I lost my youngest brother in January. Um, he was only 37, it was sudden cardiac arrest. Um, he had just had a physical a few weeks before, uh, had perfect health, so it was uh, very devastating. It was a really hard loss for my family, it, and it still is. And so as a part of that grief journey, you know, y'all know how it is. I mean, um, I had my mentor tell me um, when it first happened that grief is like a roller coaster. So just strap in and it's going to take you for a ride. There are going to be a lot of ups and downs and moments that are going to be beyond your control and uh, it has kind of been like that. Um, you know, grief is more than just sadness. It's uh, sleeplessness, it's anxiety, it's stress, it's, it's uh, restlessness, um, it's days with a lot of energy, it's days with no energy, uh, memory loss, distractions, uh, just all kinds of things. Um, anger, I mean, uh, if you know, <laughs> you know, right? Um, but you know what? I'm here. And uh, I'm just grateful but that by God's grace, I'm at this point. Um, for a while, it kind of seemed like just being a senior pastor, being a mom, being a wife, boy, that was <laughs> kind of enough to hold in the road. Um, but now I'm ready to come back and make more dessert devotions. Um, what's inspiring my comeback? Well, you know, this month we celebrate my little brother's first heavenly birthday. And uh, so, of course, thinking about desserts, one of his favorite desserts that he would love for his birthday was not cake, but cheesecake. And so, as a way to honor him and a way to make a comeback of sorts, I want to bring to you one of my favorites from my dessertdevotion.com website, and that is white chocolate cheesecake. First thing we're gonna do is work with our white chocolate. My favorite is Ghirardelli. We're gonna use half the bag, that's about five ounces, and heat it up in the microwave. I like to heat it up in 30 second increments until it has kind of a smooth texture, and then we'll just put this aside and get ready to make the cheesecake. I have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. The best thing to do is to let them sit on the counter and come to room temperature. Y'all, I have tried to melt cream cheese in the microwave for a recipe and then sometimes there's little lumps in it. The best thing is to let it just sit on the counter and come to room temperature. Then I'm going to add in just a fourth a cup of sugar. You don't need a whole lot of sugar in this particular recipe because remember we're also going to add in that white chocolate. The white chocolate, y'all, is the star ingredient of this cheesecake. It really brings this rich texture to the cheesecake that is absolutely delicious. After blending that a bit, I'm just gonna add in my eggs one at a time. That's what I love about this recipe. It's pretty no fuss. So anytime you want a nice homemade recipe, boy, this cheesecake is definitely a go-to. After this, we'll just add in our flavoring and we'll be done. To keep it easy, we're going to use a pre-made graham cracker nine inch crust. I'm going to bake my cheesecake on 325 for about 40 minutes. Here's two tips to a great cheesecake. You don't want to over bake it. So the first thing I do is take that top rack and I put it down as low as I can so that the cheesecake is in the oven a little bit below the center line in the oven so that it doesn't brown too quickly. The second thing is if you kind of shake the cheesecake and there's no jiggle in it towards the end, it's time to pull it out. I'd like to share this scripture with you from 2 Corinthians. It's in the first chapter. It's the words of Paul. And um, beginning in the third verse, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. 
Y'all, I am here right now because of those who have prayed for me and continue to do so, for those who have called, sent cards, and just encouraged me along the way, said kind words, and it's meant a lot for me. That has been in my sight um, when someone gives a hug, when, when a neighbor brought over dinner, things like that. Um, it has been in my sight God's consolation. And now I hear Paul saying, now that you've experienced that consolation from God, this enables you to not only experience that, but to share that with others. And uh, so I pray that as a part of your journey, that you can do the same. Just as you have experienced God's grace, God's mercy, and God's consolation. Remember that uh, while that is a blessing, there is a second blessing to come, that you can use that to bless others and bring that same consolation to others who need it just as much as you do. Our cheesecake looks beautiful coming out of the oven. And when it cools, don't forget to add your fruit garnish. It will make it really appealing and a showstopper for your company this weekend. So I pray that this cheesecake will be a blessing to your kitchen. And I also offer a special blessing for others who are also on the grief journey. You'll see new dessert devotions from me soon. So follow my website, dessertdevotion.com.